As you all know, we began the Horsemanship Challenge 10 years ago this week. And the original Horsemanship Challenge was won by Katie Madison, who set a standard that we have been striving for ever since. As you probably also know by now reading the program, Katie was tragically killed in an automobile accident on her way to a horse show that following summer. And this event stands as a tribute to her and the horse industry. It has become a tremendously important event. It's been copied all over the country, but we still do it the best as far as I'm concerned. And we have a group of eight terrific horsemen here today to win their ribbons. Of course, I've got a pitman from eighth to first. They have no idea where their position is in the standings. Before last year, we decided to stop telling them what their scores were in the test and the practicum so that it would be a bit of a surprise when they got into the ring and we kept that going. And so today, they'll know for the first time where they stand. In eighth place, with a score of 222.66, Mary Elsa And for the first time, we have a tie for sixth place. First time we've ever had a tie in this. We have a tie for sixth place between two riders. And so we will leave them tied. One of you will. So remaining tied for sixth place are Emily Pope and Kelly Lack. With matching scores of 227. 44 one hundredths of a point ahead of Marielle. In fifth place, with a total of 233.33. And, and trying to compose herself over there is our 2007 horsemanship champion, Emma Johnson. And as is my 